We're here with Bill, he's our volunteer food runner for the day, and he's getting ready to transport some donated food. So we can see that Bill has prepared appropriately. He's wearing uh, clean clothes, closed-toed, comfortable shoes, and if he had long hair, we'd ask him to tie it back, but he's good. Um, and he's also prepared his car. You can see it's clean from any potential contaminants, heavy dirt, insects, animals. And for extra protection, he's laid down a tarp, so his car is ready to receive the donated food. Great. You can see that he's brought appropriate insulated packaging to keep cold food cold or hot food hot. In this case, he's picked up some frozen meat and some frozen prepared foods, and he's kept those separate from the non-time temperature control for safety foods that we talked about earlier. So in this box, he's got bread, pastry, and some whole fruits and vegetables. Hey Bill, how are you? Hi, Tony. Mashed potatoes here for you, okay? Thank you. More than welcome. Thanks, Thanks. so much, Chef Tony. Right. We appreciate it. So we're here at Chef Tony's and he's just brought us out a platter of mashed potatoes that he just took out of the, the cooler. So it should be at a safe temperature of 41 degrees or below, but just to be sure, we're gonna have Bill temp it. Before that, I just wanna let you know that Chef Tony followed the procedure and put the proper labeling on this container. You can see that it has the product name, it has uh, the ingredients, including any allergens that this might contain, the date it was prepped, how long we have to use it, the temperature we should store it at, and if we need to get in touch with Chef Tony, his contact information is also on this label. All right, Bill, so if I could have you show us how to properly temp this. Okay. So first, Bill is going to sanitize the thermometer with the alcohol swab. Perfect. And then we're going to take the temperature of three different places in the mashed potatoes just to make sure that it's cool throughout. First in the center. And each time Bill does this, he's going to let it sit for 15 seconds just to make sure that we've got a correct reading. All right. And then two other random places. That's great. And we're seeing this is at a nice cool temperature of way below 41 degrees. Excellent. So we're going to wipe that thermometer again just to make sure it's clean. I'll put the lid back on for you. All right. And in order to make sure we've, we both acknowledge that this is safe, we're going to um, mark down what the temp temperature was that Bill took. And Bill is going to fill this out as the food runner. Great. Chef Tony has already signed in and says he has um, acknowledged that it is safe. And then when we get this food back to the food recipient, they're also going to sign in and acknowledge that the food was treated properly throughout the process. And so now we can go ahead and put this in our insulated bag. And remember, we're using these insulated bags just to make sure that we're keeping cold food, in this case, cold, or hot food hot. And he's going to take the appropriate paperwork back to the recipient organization so they can use this food when needed. So when our food runner arrives at the food recipient organization, he's going to fill out his part of the form that tracks the time and temperature that the food was picked up and delivered. The food recipient organization is also going to sign this form indicating that they received the food at a safe temperature and in a safe amount of time. In order to close the loop on the food safety principles that we've been talking about, our recipient organization is going to transfer the food into their cold storage unit as quickly as possible, definitely within four hours. In this case, all the food that was received was frozen, so we're going to transfer this right into the recipient organization's freezer. And it will be ready and safe for a family to receive 
anytime in the next few weeks.